worse over the years in Seba? I would say it's always been about the same. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, it's mainly petty crime that seems to be a problem. Um, it's why people have bars in their windows. It's why people don't like people coming into their compounds or coming into a neighbourhood that they know these people are strangers. They don't want them in there. Um, because it's all petty stuff. I mean, the neighbours across from us had shoes stolen. Um, you do get the odd armed robbery and stuff, but I would say that because the PMP are pretty proactive on that stuff, if there's an armed robbery the next couple of weeks, you'll find roadblocks randomly scattered around checking motorcyclists and their pillion passengers. Um, I would say it's not as bad as it may seem sometimes. Because the problem you get is the media push certain stories and you've got to remember the population of the philippines is about what 100 million so when you take that into context um i'm not sure what the population of cebu is but i know minglanilia was about 100,000 before i would say there's probably less problems in minglanilia than probably worcester um purely because it's just not got the the drunken stupidity in the, in the same way there's not the binge drinking sort of um scenario you get in the uk where all the pubs churn out at the same time and that sort of thing you normally get the uh i mean you do you do have a rising problem of shabu i suppose in the philippines but you in worcester it's heroin so <laughs> take your pick it's the same everywhere um, where problems seem to come from, though, is people moving in from other areas. Um, generally, you find, I mean, I talk to people from Minganilia a lot, and most of the problems seem to come from people coming into the area uh, from other islands, etc. Because obviously, a lot of them are broke anyway. They've got no money, they've got no way to live, etc. So they're relying on whatever they can do, which may be petty theft. So, yeah. I wouldn't say for the average foreigner there's too much risk there um, relating to small crime. It's as long as you've got your bars and your windows, etc. One of the things I would advise is getting some solar exterior lighting um, so that if there's a power cut that you're you're still flood lit up if somebody walks in, you know, with the sensors. Because that's one of the things I do have is CCTV and I have solar lighting. Um, those things can make a big difference because people can be seen, um, which cuts a lot of the, the risks out. But the, the chance of being robbed along the street um, are pretty slim. Uh, it's mainly locals that get robbed, to be honest. You, they do the, the old jeepney hold up. You get the, I mean, Banny Lads had a few um, people shot for mobile phones and stuff but it's normally where they're standing see the thing is with foreigners they're normally in areas that have got a lot of security guards and all the security guards in the philippines are armed um so that's enough to put most people off doing anything stupid because i mean even if you look at talise as you enter talise up to gasano you've got at least three banks each bank's got at least three armed guards in it so they you've got nine people there before you even get to the shopping mall, that have got pump action shotguns and pistols. Um, so the, the odds on something happening in those areas is pretty slim. Um, so um, it's, it's, like I said, it's mainly like Jeepneys is probably your highest risk of somebody trying to pickpocket you. Um, beyond that, not, not really something to worry about.